Hello, ladies and gents, and welcome back to... But looking back on it now... Welcome back to What Remains of Edith Finch. This is going to be part three, part four, question mark? Not sure. I think it's part three, though. You're welcome to part three of What Remains of Edith Finch. If she told me there was going to be so much climbing, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. So, yeah, now she's 22 weeks pregnant. We were already up to this part. So this is where we were at when we last left off. Okay, let's not walk on the glass, shall we? Be careful, Edith, you're pregnant. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. Alright, so I did mess up before. Uh, my friend Samaya did give me information about the game. I used to say, hey, Gregory built the house. You know what I didn't take into a factor? That Greg only lived one year, died as a baby, or went missing as a baby. So who did build the house is Walter. Walter built the house. Uh, Odin built the first house. Walter built the second house. And then basically this generation of Edith, Milton, and Lewis. So Milton and Lewis died, disappeared, or whatnot, and then Edith survived and she ran away to some other place. She she went away to survive. She didn't want to stay in this cursed house. Uh, what's that? Milk. Oh, it's it's for bird houses. Okay, nice. Can I, can I walk through here, please? That'd be much desirable. Alright, let's go. I forgot they you had to do that. pretty intense. So that's Uncle Sam. That's Uncle Sam. I'm guessing Sam and Walter built the thing together? that up. That's Sam with his first selfie. Who's that? Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm hmm. What? Am I going to have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Dawn. Shooting is strongly encouraged. <laughs> So wait, Sam, so that's daughter, that's Sam, so Dan, Don's father, basically our grandfather. Perfect. It's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? I will never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Okay, got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful, a camera's older than you are. Definitely. Hey! <laughs> That's a keeper. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff, if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was gonna be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? That's blurry. Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. Why can I take the picture? Your grandpa's fan taught us how to fish. How to build a fire. Oh, is this what we're supposed to take a picture of? We found an old logging trail. There were deer everywhere. I bet if I could remember where that trail was, we'd spot a buck for you in no time. Uh, I'm sure all of you people have epilepsy. You guys are probably dying by now. Well, let's just take a good view. Give me a minute to check the map. Hmm. Oh, there's a rifle. I don't know what I'm supposed to be, uh... Let's see. Alright, keep talking. Maybe you'll give me a, a hint. Pop out. I got to Maybe. You don't need to waste any more film on me, kiddo. Oh, well, maybe there's a bird. Maybe there's a bird. What was it? Okay, so that's the way that we're. Oh, it is a bird. Dad! Good eyes, Don. 
Yeah, good eyes, Dodd. Not made up. Oh, there's more? What else can I take a picture of? Oh, there's a, there's a deer. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of it. Dad, I, I... Just breathe. Let me get behind you. Oh, no. Do I have to do this? Don, you don't have to do anything. Great shot, Don! Oh, God. <laughs> I'm actually playing a game called The Hunter. I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? Dad, it's twitching. I think That's it's totally so normal, Don. Just focus oh, on the camera. So Try not to think about Dad! Oh, oh crap. Oh, you're a goner. That's it, you're dead. Of all that's these them. stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. It's a really cool story, to be honest. Damn, Sam. Sam spent his life shooting photos, but mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. Hmm. I guess we're all afraid of something. Is that a C4? Oh, I was about to say that's a C4. Never mind, that's a... a thingamahooga. So it's a radio of some sort. My neck is killing me. That's probably something that he caught, killed, whatnot. That's the camera. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Oh, he's cool, isn't he? Do, 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 do. Can I go through here, please? Let's see. Do, 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 do. K. 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 Ooh. A Meowsers. And the Meowsers is attacking a Squeewell. Wah. Prepare to be attacked, Squeewell. Meow. Meowsers, don't attack, please. Oh, jeez. Whenever I do that voice, I, I tear up. Don't, don't judge. Ooh, that's his gun. The S Finch. <coughs> uh, the S Finch? Ooh. Wait. It doesn't make sense. Why are there slugs or buckshots or bird shots? Next to a rifle that's supposed to be taking 338s. Okay, I'm not gonna ask. Oh boy, this place looks messed up. Oh, I'm you ready to see? He was in the army, but as you can tell by um, his helmet over there, so he, they had MREs. You just pop and play. Okay, okay. Let's Yep. After Ducky Sam cover. died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Hmm. Didn't you? Finch control. Aha! You should have been using that a long time ago, shouldn't you? So I was being retarded there. This is Gregory's room. We got it one. Great. Well, not great. That's kind of sad, but... I I'm saying great to cast because it's kind of sad when somebody dies a year after they're born. I wonder how she hesitated to take the paper. <gasps> oh... After he died? No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I'm not done with you. I'm not done with you. I promised myself to make everything power panned. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. Here we go. I knew I was missing out. I think he saw things the rest of us don't. Oh. Oh. Hey, there you go. Uh, 
ta ta. What's up, Bia? You, you want some beef? You want some beef? Bartend over, Gregory. It's time to. Hold on, sweetie. Can I play some more? Hello? Sam, I told you I don't want to talk right now. Oh, it's a ducko. Get the ducko. Nice, I got another ducko. What his world was like. Meh. Splash. Are you spooked? You reminded me so much of Calvin. Oh damn. Lost in his imagination. That's ready? Whatever it was, he saw. I want to get inside of the whale. It sure made him happy. <laughs> <laughs> I see why Gregory would laugh. Ready? Let's go on top of the thing. Gregory? I know you did everything you could. Maybe if I hadn't called that night. Damn it. Hold on, I don't want Gregory to hear this. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Let's go. It's in the water on. I wish you could have told us. About the world he saw. Wait, no, I want a ducko. I need a ducko. Don't run away. Oh, wait, no. He's in the drum. He's in the drum. There's no. so much I don't understand. About Gregory. He's a froggo. About everything. It's a Lego. The Legos. But I know what happened. Wasn't your fault. Save yourself, Gregory. Oh, I'm sure he's here. So Gregory drowned. And he'd want you to be happy too. Good luck, Kay. Love, Sam. Damn. Harsh. All right, Sam. Put him in the. Put him in. All right. Damn. Can't believe he drowned like that. And of course, the frog's not here because it sunk. Is that it? Maybe it's on the other side. Yeah, it sunk. It's not there. Wow. Okay. That's Don. That's Gus. That's all of uh, Sam's. Yeah. That's all of Sam's and um, what's your names? Sam's. Oh, I forgot the name already. Are you serious? Well, it's their children. Let's just put it that way. There's Gregory's locker. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry, and yet. Oh, Gus was a. Gus is a girl. A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard. Before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Gimme, 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 My father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. I, tr 
tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her. We don't need a stepmom, were the words that I now pronounce you husband and wife. Make him cry. I was just actually flying the kite for no reason. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's word somewhere. Here. There we go. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign held up his middle finger. Uh, wow, okay. Alright, Gus, you're a bad kid. The wind picked up, and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Oh, the kite's gonna fly away and land inside of his face, isn't it? No, stay away. Stay away. Stay away, I don't want none. Fine, give it to me. Rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power, but all my father said to this was, Make the music louder. These lights. I crave the lights. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't, until, until we found, found you. you. She never talked about him. Okay, Gus is a Mom boy. told me yeah, once if I was a, a boy, they were going to name me Gus. Secrets on the wall. My mom moved up to the loft after her brother's wait, died. Wait, 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 wait. That's the way you're supposed to go. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Anything else? At the time, it was as far away as she could get. Okay. I guess we are going up. Don't break your neck now, Edith. <laughs> How did you come here during labor? <sighs> Careful. Don't throw me on like this. All right, nice. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Okay. Hello, this is Microsoft Technical Support. What seems to be the issue with your computer, man? All right. Cool. Why am I here? Oh, that's why. No, oh, never mind. That's not why. No, it is why. Wait, no. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to wait. Ah! Okay, cool. That means there was nothing else up there. Which means there has to be another way. Right? Can I go back up? I could. Let's do it. It's fun. Yep, there was more. I knew it. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Like I said, technically Lewis was born a year later. Ooh. Oh boy, okay. Alright, we're not supposed to go down there. Obviously. Alright, let's not stamp the edges. I don't when want to When my dad die. died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. Yeah. Edith, and to see kids in the house again. So there's Edith's thingy. There's Milton with his everlasting cities. There's Lewis. Let me guess. Lewis. Lewis, Milton, Edith. 
Then it's done. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would assume because we're at the very top right now. See a little raft. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. Almost normal. Normal's never good, you know, because if you're thinking about normal, your family dies when things are normal. But it didn't last. It didn't last, eh? The beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday, when cool. Edie gave him a castle. I don't want to go out there. I'm gonna die. Can I... That's the way we're supposed to go, obviously. That's Milton's room. A castle. Ooh, I don't like it. An actual castle. Wow. Is there an entrance? Uh, I would like to go in. Please. No, I'm assuming not. Oh, that's a long way down. It's a good thing this house was made to, to last and be stable. Okay, there is a way in. Oh, fine. Lewis, you artistic child. I didn't say autistic, I said artistic. I mean, how are these balloons so oh they're like crafted balloons, they're like staying there on purpose. Uh, do I wanna know what this is? Oh, this brings you up. That's not for an old fucking that's not for a grown ass lady, it is. I mean, based on your picture you don't look old, but I'm assuming you're like in your twenties, right? 1999. What's the highest year? 2016? Girl, you're 17 ish in your prego. Oh, that's a long time past. Actually, no, 17 Milton plus 5. Finch in she came back in the magic years. paintbrush. So she is 17 plus 5 is 20. She's 22. Okay, never mind. Okay, wait, I have to go. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Cool. Didn't he finish? Something happened to him. He just said, oh, he's the one that disappeared. I was four when Milton disappeared. He disappeared behind his magic door. Okay. Mom spent months searching for my See brother. Milton. Then she sealed the doors. All right, let's dip. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Watch her get, watch her disappear just like Milton disappeared. That would suck. Okay, let's go up. Oh, oh, nice lights. Oh, no, too blinding. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. Damn, this house gets really tall. Okay. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room until Mom got him a job at the cannery. Right. Nice. Um. Obviously, we can't go up any higher. Splash, you know, not, not, that's not a good thing. I want to go higher. I want to see what's up there. Jesus. I don't like heights, guys. I really don't like heights. Like, if I was to jump off of something because I needed to, I would jump off, but nah, I'd probably shit myself on the way down. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. Yep, smells like weed. Good old hipster Lewis. With his gaming computer. 
really. Gladly, I'm not a vapist. Or. Gladly, I'm not like a hippie. My friends would kill me instantly. Greater Seattle. Dear Mrs. Finch. As Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? Oh, Jesus. He kept working at the cannery, but he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to... Give me, give me you. His mind Wanda. began to... Oh. Okay. Want to go the same time? Let's see. I asked him to describe it. He said he started small, imagining a labyrinth. Yeah, I just don't know if there's any space for this labyrinth. He'd feel his way about. Yeah, it's an end. I'm kind of trying to like multitask. Then something moved. What, my hand? Bats. And toads. Uh, what well, can I not? And things that have not names. Well, the music changed. He knew it was all in his head. Yum, 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 yum. But he took it very seriously. Get out of there. I had hoped he'd find himself. Oh wait, this is a tunnel, the doorway. But he found something more. I worried video about games. him then. This is a video game, Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. Oh, I even no. encouraged him. It seemed uh, very promising at first. Uh, as soon as we finished, he told one. me he'd made a new friend. Oh, it's a dog. Let's go, Doggo. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. No, wait, no, no, I want to go back. I want to go up. I want to go up. Whatever. Okay. Oh, there's more fish. Come on. Fish time. Oh, Jesus. I guess I had to cut a fish. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Let's build a city. Then he made musicians. Hey. So I see I see people in the windows even having fun. Like right there, right up there. And songs for them to play. Talked about windows, starting a band. 
and he was always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. Let me guess, he's gonna forget about reality. He no longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him that all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. So he could do whatever he wished. Sorry for interrupting. Uh, I had to talk to my mom about something. It was fish. It's not this focus. He held an election for mayor. And he became mayor. And he won. Yeah, go Lewis. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. No, I'll stay. If y'all want me to stay, I'll stay. The way people I'll stay. I guess not. I'm just gonna walk through people now. That's sad. It became a game for him. There was a game that market player played. He'd conquer a city, same, then like, immediately push on. I guess. Not the same ship, like, you would have to control your ship the same. You lose him. Don't crash now, child. St. Louis. He started drifting away from our reality. Minneapolis. Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. More fish. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a... Um... He was straight. Handsome queen. Um, let's follow the green path. I don't have to take us to clean. This is where my eyes are picking with me, isn't it? The queen was on her own quest for. Um, radiant rainbows. That's why not. Radiant rainbows. Jesus. Oh! Made it. Nailed it. Oh, yeah. He followed the sound of her electric sitar, silver harp. Nah, bro, guitar for life, man. Electric sitar. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Uh, dark. Yes, Even then, dark. his logic remained sound. I can't even see it anymore. It's just like... Yes. He knew the world was all in his imagination. so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. Oh god. A general. For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. This is one hell of a long dream about And that. then it struck us. That the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. Damn, 
rules. Oh. High as hell. Uh, let's do this. It's a thing that it all started with, you know. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. Well, let me go kiss the princess. The way she moved, right. It was hard to argue with him. We began to forget the world we know. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. Oh, there he is. With nobody at work because he stayed. Chop, 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 chop. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. He's just daydreaming. He's not even doing his job anymore. Let's climb the steps. I of still the thought I house. could save him. No, back, back, back. Abort, 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 abort. 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 That's a meat grinder. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. Oh my god. No, come on. No. The palace would be packed with his companions. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Including the wise Calico who'd insisted on advising him. Holding his crown. Damn, she there was only one thing left to do. Bend down his head. I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. Okay. All right. Ooh. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. Let's some games. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. Uh -huh. He died a lot. Yeah. And then he died at the only game... And then he died at what he perceived to be a game called life. Jesus. What a strange family, Edith. Very strange family. Why did you climb that up so weirdly? Or am I gonna fall and die? Back from Lewis's funeral. My mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. Okay, so I guess we are going up. I wish we'd stayed. But I understand why we left. Why? Because this house is haunted, now you're back and gonna die because of his haunted curses or something? 
I have some food. No, just more peaches. What happened that night? Oh, I've been coming for a long time. Right. No, 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 no. My Silence. mom ended up leaving everything behind. Oh, Jesus. Oh, look, let's cut our wrists. <laughs> okay, let's see. Nothing. Look at this. Warden. It's Maybe to I should have come sooner. Yep, duck your head. Thank you. Or gammer. That didn't fall out the window. Hey, I'm surprised. Oh, the phosphorus stars still light. But it had to end one way or another. What? Well, does the game end without taking a nap? All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh no, so I was right about Edith being pregnant. What, I'm gonna be right about Edith dying too? No, in the beginning, she was alive. Nice and dandy. Oh, it feels a knife. Okay, it's a feather. That whole last day. Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Yep, yeah, because Edie's gonna be mad. Pissed. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, "To our final night together, and all our final oh, nights oh, apart." Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry. You're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last- I'm not leaving. Edith, Ooh. you're excused. Edith stayed. Oh, I can move. Okay, I can move. Let's do this. Okay. Are we grandma? The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. Yes, yeah, so we are the grandma. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that <laughs> Edie had a key to it. Oh, that's... No, we're playing... Oh, yeah, we are playing as Edie, because Edie does knit the same kind of gloves. Oh, no, we're playing as Edith, who was in her pajamas. That thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Hmm. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay? Hell to the no. Let's see the story. Dear Edith, there's the so end. many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. Your dad that died. night, the tide went way, way out. Ooh. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled Oh, and then there's that raft. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. Thanks, Mom. Okay. But I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. Oh no. I think I'm in the general direction. I got turned around. What? Let's just follow this wall. We won't get lost. Never mind, it looks like it's a solid wall. If I For a while. I wondered. I'll just hold the W key. 
I started seeing things. Perhaps you weren't seeing things. Perhaps there's an actual deer there. It's possible. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. My mom made me mac and cheese. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. So the fog just rolled away. And we or see... maybe I came back to them. That's pretty much what you did. It's gonna be rusty as hell, isn't it? Or not. Or not. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! No. I kicked and screamed, but Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. The next morning, the van came to pick her up, but she was already gone. Yeah, no shit. She went. She After that, we moved around a lot. I still don't know what happened. Up, down, up, down, up, down. We both tried to make the best of it. A few years went by. A few moments later. Shake, 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 shake. My mom didn't need to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> oh, damn. The rest happened pretty quickly. She going to die. Oh god, yeah. Why do I always trust, keep calling her? She got stuff? better for a while. And then she didn't. Dorn Finch. 2016. And then I was alone. The last Finch left alive. For a while. Or, or maybe she survived. Until I, I found out about you. What? I'm, I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. Oh, wait. <gasps> if we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. I think I understand it. Edith died. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. Edith died, but her child. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. Yeah, she gave birth. What the hell does this This look journal like? was supposed to be for you. Push, Edith. But now push. I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you and tell you all these stories myself. Wee. But I guess if you're reading this now, things didn't work out that way. Baby's born. This is where your story begins. Yeah, I knew it. I'm sorry I won't be able to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Oh my god. She died 17. Little baby boy. So she had a child at 17? Died giving birth. You know what? The story keeps on going over and over and over again. He's gonna grow up to be, you know. Oh my. Damn, okay. Whoa, alright. That's what remains of Edith Finch. Apparently, what remains of Edith Finch is her eight year old son. That is a very sad story. Took a really dark turn in the end. I thought Edith would survive in the end. Because if it remains of Edith Finch. Actually, what was I expecting? If it remains of Edith Finch, that means that she didn't make it. It's just her remains. Damn. Alright, well. 
I'm gonna just stay quiet for the rest of this part. Just... Oh, those are all pictures of the programmers when they were kids. They all had rough lives, didn't they? And they're, I think they're each next to a project that they did. Well, that's gonna do it for what remains of Edith Finch. The gameplay's over. I did not expect to end this fast. And I didn't expect to end this way. But then it doesn't make sense. Actually, wait, yeah, it does. We started by looking down at the book. Which means that the book was still empty and she's telling her story. And then, I guess the book was closed by the kid? Man, this music makes the moment even more traumatic. Not traumatic, what did I just say? Dramatic. There's Gregory's stuff. Oh, there's the little frogger. Rip it. There's Drama Queen. Alright, well, I'm not gonna look through. Actually, yeah, we are gonna look through this. Maybe there's an Easter egg at the end. Yeah, it's probably gonna be at the end. Hey, Venos or H2O or no, H2O has a hockey mask. I think that is Venos. Yeah. Okay. Gotta get going soon. Hopefully, this is not gonna take too much time because I gotta really go. So it's a quarter past hair, quarter past vein. Trick or treat, smell my feet. Scarred for life, too. Alvinos. <laughs> Not Cheerios, Alvinos. The Edith Finch team. With a little Tweety Bird. Oh, it took me five years to make this game. Really, just five years? The end. All is when that ends well, except for. Yes, life, <laughs> which didn't end well. Well, we could put a solid 2017-ish there. We play a story. Wait, wait, what does this mean? Odin wasn't connected to anyone. Edie was connected to Don, Molly was connected to no one, Barbara, no one, Calvin, no one, Sam, no one, Walter, no one, Gregory, no one, Gus, no one, Edith, connected to no one. But to us. I don't replay, but what does that mean? And it's funny how in that circle it says what remains of Edith Finch. Well, we know Edie's story, and we know Don's story. Wait, do we do, do we know how Don died? No, we don't know how Don died. Do we? Do we? Don't. Because we know that they drove away. He's just gonna repeat that part. It is gonna repeat that part. So yeah, we do know what happens to each one of them. And then, so this is where her mother and, where Edith's mother had a fight. 
and then Edie got lost before the people who were supposed to pick her up came. So yeah, that's going to be the end of the gameplay for What Remains of Edith Finch. Really sad that I only had three episodes for this, but hey, it was an amazing game, amazing graphics, amazing story, very sad story. The way that each one of them died in their own way, like... Well, you know, one messed up family. Damn. Well, I will still be having Wolf and Doom episodes to be put up soon. Still gotta find out how to make it less laggy on my on my end, because on YouTube they know how to restore all of that, so you guys don't get that much lag. But on my end, because I do lag really hard. Oh my. Well, yeah, that's gonna be it for what remains of Edith Finch. Devil roast out. Yeah, that was sad. Thank <laughs> you.